Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online, and we're using this place, Ketsi of La Beach Hotel. We're so grateful to them. Now this morning, I'm still on Jacob at the uh, uh, Jabok, the Brook Jabok, where Jacob is in trouble and Esau uh, is coming with an army to, uh, to come and meet him. Now that is in uh, Genesis chapter 32. Now I find a very interesting story over there. You look at it this way. Now, Jacob is now coming home. And in coming home, the Bible said Esau was coming with an army. And definitely an army is a threatening uh, posture. An army is a posture of retribution. An army is a, is a, is a posture of judgment. An army is a posture of anger on, on uh, Esau's part. Because if your brother is coming, you want to go and welcome him. You take your household and you arrange from, from, from dances and all those other things. But he came to him with armed people, with spears and swords, shields and, and, and uh, whatever you call it, mattocks or whatever it takes. And he really had an axe to grind with Jacob. He had an axe to grind with Jacob because Jacob stole his birthright. Well, Jacob stole his birthright is, is very debatable because he didn't really regard his birthright. When Jacob took it, what you, what you don't respect, other people may respect. And in the end, they may go for it to your detriment. Now, here's the interesting thing. Now, Jacob is coming and Esau is coming too and Esau is coming with an army now I'm, I'm beginning to look at it very seriously remember you remember that earlier on God had met Jacob and when he met Jacob you know he spoke to Jacob about uh, at, the, um, at Bethel you know where God talked to Jacob about blessings he's going to give to him say I'm going to do this with you he saw open heavens when he placed his head upon the, uh, the stone and then the heavens opened, he saw a ladder, angels ascending and angels descending. Jacob saw all those things and God spoke to Jacob about plenty of things he was going to do for him and how he was going to bless him. But you know one thing, God never mentioned Esau. Or God never mentioned to Jacob that, listen, I had promised I was going to give you, um, I was going to give you, you're going to be the leader, you're going to be the head, you're going to get the blessing. But I have not told you to go and cheat in order to get. I have not told you to go and deceive to go and get it. I would never thought you to supplant it in order to get it. No. And here's the thing. God never mentioned it. But then at the brook Jabok, or the, this river Jabok or whatever it is, the Bible said now Esau was coming. Then Jacob was confronted with what he had done, which was wrong. You know one thing? I like to capture today, say, some catching up to do. Some catching up to do. Some catching up to do. You know, sometimes uh, we, 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 we imagine or we think that, uh, that once God promises, I'm going to bless you, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, then the matter is the same. No. Sometimes there are some things we need to confront. And what was in a scenario was being, com uh, was being presented to Jacob to, pr to confront his past. Sometimes there are some issues we need to confront. We need to visit it. We need to revisit it. We don't just throw it under the carpet and expect that it will go away. It will not go away. It is waiting for you. If not today, it is waiting for you in the future. And one way or the other, you need to confront it. You need to see it. Sometimes you need to confront it by saying, listen, I am sorry. Sometimes you need to confront it by getting to the people that you wronged to tell them that, listen, I am, I am sorry. Jesus calls it restitution, restituting, that is going back to the people and saying, I'm sorry. And listen, you can enjoy the blessing of all the years, I mean, all the promises of God, but that thing will just be a sore spot in your history. It will be a sore spot in your narrative that you might need to confront it. And that is what happened. Jacob was presented with an opportunity to confront his past and to look his brother in the eye and says, listen, treat me with mercy. You come rightfully angry. You come with sword and spear. You come with everything that I don't have. I'm at my weakest moment. I'm at my weakest point because of what I did to you. I am sorry. 
and then confront the past and let the past be resolved. Well, sometimes we can push some things under the carpet, but not everything. Sometimes we need to open, because if the thing stays under the carpet, it will start thinking, and it's not a very good thing for you. So here's the thing. God, I believe that God sometimes presents us an opportunity for us to look into the past and some things that we did which were wrong and to look at the people that we wrong and tell them, you know what, I'm sorry, and then move on. It, it doesn't take away from it. I'm sorry. My grandmother says it's just mere words. You can't measure them. You can't uh, quantify them. But they have a very great impact to resolve issues that are standing. They have a very great impact in assuaging the hurt feelings of other people and giving them a balm of Gilead for their healing. So you know what? You would have a chance to confront the past. And sometimes we need to confront the past and look at it and say, I didn't do this right. Let me make it right by you. I may not be able to make everything right, but, but because sometimes the damage may not be redeemable, or sometimes the damage cannot be um, returnable, or something like that, or uh, restored. But sometimes, just the human heart, to let that person also uh, find a resolution to his pain, and find a resolution to his hurt. And so sometimes, we are presented with an opportunity to confront the past, even though we have been blessed and we have moved on. Sometimes we need to look at somebody in the face and tell the person, I'm sorry. Well, the choice, of course, is yours. So it's your decision to make. See you later.